reason we work. Yes, we seem to become more urbanized every year. But most of our food still comes from agriculture. Agriculture is in our history and in our blood. India is the world's second largest producer of wheat, rice and sugarcane. India is the world's second largest harvester of fruits and vegetables. Indian vegetables account for 8.6% of global production, while Indian fruits account for 10.9% of global production. Despite India's impressive global ranking in terms of food output, India is still the world's hunger capital. 27% of the world's underfed and undernourished people are in India. And the gap between demand and supply will keep increasing. Because on the one hand, you have population growth, income growth, urbanization driving the demand for food. On the other hand, you have climate change, stressed natural resources and poor information management constraining the supply of food. If we want to increase our food output, we will require new technologies that can boost the quantity and quality of our agricultural yields, cut agricultural waste and make our farmers and crops more resistant to climate change. In fact, the International Food Supply Research Institute estimates that Farming technology alone can boost yields by 67% and cut prices in half by the year 2050. I'm Manvi Dhillon and you're watching DuPont Presents The Power of Shunya Quest for Zero. And today we're on a quest for zero crop failure. Joining me now is Professor Y.K. Alag, a man who needs little introduction. I'm going to put it simply, a man who's devoted his entire life to Indian agriculture, noted economist, played a huge role in policy making as well. Professor Alag, thank you very much for joining us. If you had to reflect on the state of Indian agriculture today, whether it's production challenges, whether it's technology, whether it's, uh, you know, soil conditions, anything for that matter, what would you list as, uh, you know, key features of Indian agriculture today? The challenge is changing. It's no longer Gahu and Chawal. It is now the Engels law, which is that the growth of demand for non-grains is double that of grains and of non-crop based agriculture is even higher. So agriculture just doesn't mean crops, it also means animals, it means fish. Okay, so two uh, different directions you've set me off on. Let's talk about, you know, whether or not we should still keep our eye firmly on grain. You're saying that's not where the story is any longer? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, uh, listen, you have done it many times. If you give him a proper price, and the technology is pretty well known, he gives you as much of grain as you want. So we need to make those quantum jumps. Now, eggs, chicken, fish, milk, we are really not producing the cattle on a large enough scale to meet our animal husbandry needs. We are really not putting in uh, enough to see to it that the farmer is able to meet the needs of going to the market. He is willing to do it. That's the big trend. But we have not as yet created the climate with which to do it. And the second thing that she or he is really facing is a shortage of land and water, which their father didn't. Our crop area has stopped growing. Increase in double cropping will come only if you handle your water better. The area under irrigation is not going up. 
So he draws out water. And the other challenge is a market challenge. Then means that you have to link up with producers groups. You have to link up with cooperatives. You have to link up with companies which are willing to take a creative stance on this. The point is we need to build up systems which build up collaboration with the private sector at home, with the private sector abroad, but we need to drive it. When you're standing in a field like this one, 150 kilometers from Bengaluru, the words that come to mind are remote, disconnected, off the grid. It implies that farmers here have no access to information. Timely information can be a lifeline for farmers and agricultural businesses in rural India. For example, imagine if farmers could check market prices and make offers. They could time their harvest and maximize their income. This mobile phone in my hand has the power to do all that and more. And two entrepreneurs from Bengaluru are helping this mobile phone live up to its promise. So now, armed with a mobile phone and a very clever application, Farmers and agricultural businesses in rural India have access to timely information at their fingertips. If you want to know how this is unleashing a revolution, just keep watching. Agriculture is the mainstay of India's economy. And in this tiny village near Hassan, close to Bengaluru, it's a lifeline for farmer Rukman and farm manager Anil Kumar. Information is vital to ensure a quality harvest. एक डिसीज आ गया कुछ फ्लड की वजह से वो गिर गया मतलब खराब हो गया फील्ड नर्सरी 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 डाल देते वो फ्लड की वजह से ज्यादा बारिश होने की वजह से नर्सरी खराब होता था इमेजिन इफ इंफॉर्मेशन वाज अवेलेबल एट अ फार्मर्स फील्ड क्लासमेट्स एंड नाउ कोफाउंडर्स ऑफ अ स्मार्टफोन एप्लीकेशन कृष्ण कुमार एंड कुनाल प्रसाद आर फिलिंग अ क्रूशियल इंफॉर्मेशन वॉइड विद क्रॉप इन टेक्नोलॉजी this application is in use in 14 rural districts in India by farmers and companies engaged in agribusinesses. Describe what cropping is. So cropping is a kind of a marriage between our technology and agriculture. It helps you to connect, create an ecosystem where the farmer, the people who are trying to interact with the farmers, with the seed companies or contract farming companies, as well as the management to keep in the loop real time what is the farmer issues, what, what he's trying to grow, when is the harvest, what are the you know, pest attacks happening in the farm, so that you get a collective information and somebody can you know, take a collective decision how to help the farmer and to get the, get the quality. Creating farmer profiles, registering a problem on field, and geotagging farms to prevent any loss of crops are some of the key features of the crop in application. Once the farmers are registered, I mean, they select a crop, like, you no, know, say this is a maize crop which the farmer is doing. And we've got a sample right here yeah, in our hand. I mean, and that's really nice. So once the, once the farmer registers the crop, he selects a particular variety of crop. Hmm. So what happens is the, the, the application smartly attaches a plant to the crop. So that means if you have done a maize crop, that means a package of practice is built for the maize, maize crop. And that get automatically attached to the crop. So okay. you know that from the day you have sown the maize crop, the fifth day what you have to do, the tenth day what you have to do. So there are very critical things which is important in the maize crop, like you know the germination percentage, what is the what is the first time you have applied fertilizers. So all those details you have the, the system automatically generates a list of activities which the farmer has to provide. Let's um, you know get a sense of exactly what a farmer would do, what a field officer would do and how the information would flow out and then come back to them in terms of advice. What we tell the farmer is that what you assume is the acreage of this land is actually not true. So what you better do is you go and audit this particular area. 
And how do they audit that? Do, so okay. Does the crop in technologies app help in yes. the auditing as well? Correct. So it's a very smart application here. So there's just one click button. You just press area audit and you go to the corner of the plot. You just move around the plot and then you just say calculate area. That's it. And oh. what it does, it, it smartly calculates, it's geotags the entire plot. So from the time you're sowing, so the farmer is registering, the, the, the sowing, the seed is gone into the fields. So we know that what the farmer has done. In a country feeding over 1.2 billion hungry mouths, Crop and Technology is aiming to be a farmer's best friend with its quest for zero farmer suicides and zero loss of crops. I suppose then you have the conviction that the work that Crop and Technologies is doing is going to help us move significantly towards the goal of shunya or zero crop failure? Yeah, I mean, even the cropping is the same goal because you know we don't want any crop to fail now because I don't want farmer to take life. That is one of you know well, one of our goals. We don't want to see like Indian farmers as doing suicides. And what we also promised to this industry is like we are going to bring all the cutting edge technology in the sector. For a sector in need of technology, Cropin seeks to provide the solutions. A powerful innovation that is revolutionizing Indian agriculture acre by acre simply by changing the way farmers receive information. In one stroke, it eliminates all the risks associated with remoteness, poor connectivity and long distances. Rice is the staple food for over 65% of the Indian population. India has the largest area under rice production in the world at 44.6 million hectares. But in terms of productivity, India at 3.6 tons per hectare is below the world average of 4.2 tons per hectare. India also lags behind China and Japan. To complicate matters, India is always battling food inflation. This summer, inflation hit a five-month high and rice was no exception. Rice production in India gets hit by a whole host of things, including vagaries in nature, poor irrigation facilities, insects and diseases. Despite these challenges, India must increase production by 2 million tons to achieve self-sufficiency in rice. DuPont Pioneer and DuPont Crop Protection have devised two different technologies to boost yields. First, let's take a look at a special hybrid seed that is boosting yields in eastern Uttar Pradesh. Paddy is one of the most important food crops of India. But in spite of the fact that India has the largest area in the world under rice cultivation, it has a poor record when it comes to productivity. In this village of Pure Shuklan Purva, in eastern Uttar Pradesh, farmers battle all sorts of odds in the hope of a good harvest. I was thinking about the food before I was Coming to the rescue of farmers like Lavlesh and Sri Kumar, DuPont Pioneer has developed the 27P31 hybrid seed. 27P31. What is it for a layperson? 27P31 is the latest hybrid rice that we have developed for the farmers of North and East India. Uh, it is a very unique hybrid in the sense that, you know, it has the inherent capacity to take much higher population than a normal rice uh, variety would take in the same unit area. So 27P31 can take good amount of water stress both ways, you know, when it is less as well as when it is excess. What is the beneficial yield for a farmer when he opts for 27P31? We have seen that farmer earns around 5,000 rupees per acre more in case he grows a hybrid or 27P31. This is the way we eat. We eat a lot of food and a lot of food. But we eat a lot of food. निरोग जैसे कोई भी रोग नहीं लगता हल्के पानी में कम रसायनिक खाद में अच्छा उत्पादन देता है 
और करीब करीब ये जो है सामान्य खेती करने पर ये एकड़ में हमारे जो है 28 क्विंटल हो जाता है लेट्स मूव फ्रॉम अ हाइब्रिड सीड दैट इज बूस्टिंग यील्ड्स इन ईस्टर्न उत्तर प्रदेश टू अ क्रॉप प्रोटेक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज बूस्टिंग यील्ड्स इन करनाल हरियाणा To guard against the rice crop getting infested from pests, Dupont Crop Protection has developed an insect control product called Dupont Fitera. There are reports that you know stem borer causes yield losses for anywhere from 30 to 50 percent, depending on the state and level of infestation of the space. Why does India need Fitera in particular? Wherever rice is grown, you will have stem borer, and uh, across the country, yellow stem borer. causes extensive damage if not taken care of so fortera was made specifically for india and specially for rice growers okay uh this is a granular formulation so therefore in rice fields is very easy to apply by way of broadcasting so and fortera is uh, not only very effective for controlling stem borer it gives 3 weeks uh, protection uh, to the crop from the stem borer uh, pest <laughs> in what way is it safer than any alternative in the market fortera is applied at 40 grams of active per hectare or 16 grams per acre whereas the alternatives that are currently being used or are parallelly being used are uh, 750 grams per hectare and at the same time the protection is much better longer in case of fortera it's very uh, safe to the beneficial uh fauna in the fields like frogs and earthworms and other beneficial insects it's also safer to the applicators so you will hear a lot of farmers talking about you know the applicator getting impacted if they are using any other chemicals uh yellowing of hands and things like that in fertera absolutely no problem with any such issues in terms of safety to the applicator or to the cattle and the surroundings what's the impact of dupont fortera been pan india so fortera today is being used on 6 million acres or 60 lakh acres by about 20 lakh farmers so in you know 5 years that's a rapid adoption uh, across the country now if you multiply this 6 quintals yield on uh, you know uh, 60 lakh acres or 2 and 1/2 quintals per acre into 60 lakhs so that's 150 lakh quintals mm. uh, so it's a huge saving uh, to the farmers it's not saving it's additional income to the farmers within a few months of using dupont fortera farmers experienced a difference in their quality of crops the sabse pehle result iska ye tha ji ke hamari dhan jo thi wo rog mukt ho gayi ek dafa use kiya chain greens ko dusra hamare jo podde the pehle ek podde ke andar 10 ya 15 kalle nikalte the ab wohi zameen hai wohi fasal hai ab wo 45 se 50 tak kalle nikalte hain yani ke hamara utpadan badh gaya A lot needs to be done to ensure that Indian farmers get the most out of their paddy fields and these innovations are a step in the right direction. Farmers start using such you know technologies and a combination of them we can surely you know uh, further progress in the direction of zero losses. Zero for uh, pioneer or zero for 27p31 means a commitment to the farmer that he will have zero crop failures. as this is more stress tolerant as this would yield more so zero crop failure means higher yields and higher yields would mean zero hunger i'm going to turn once again to professor alak to get a sense from him on whether he thinks digital mobile applications are indeed an important future avenue for indian agriculture professor alak i ask you this quite simply digital mobile applications in indian agriculture are they going to play a critical role going forward or am i overstating a point see digitalization and computerization is very important for example in seeds it's very important in terms of markets 
Markets means what? Communication. Essentially, it is interdisciplinary. It's biotechnology, modern communication, markets. This show is called The Power of Shunya, Quest for Zero. How does the concept of Shunya relate to Indian agriculture based on your experience? You have to define it realistically. Zero doesn't literally mean zero. Then if, then I think it's achievable. Then I would say already some people have achieved it. They have also achieved with the alternative technologies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just the, most, the latest technology for harvesting with which you have hardly any loss or the latest technology of using byproducts, which is a far more important question. But the question is expanding it on a much faster rate. And I think it can be done. But as I said, it's, uh, you know, it uh, depends on the support that you give, the extension that you give, the institutions that you build. I think what you are underlining is that whether it's technology, it's about the pace of adoption of technology. Whether it's about support, it's about the extent of support. Whether it's about revamping processes, it's again back to scale. How many farmers are you touching in any new initiative that you have? Professor Alak, as always, a pleasure talking to you. Thanks very much for your insights. Thank you. The challenges that Indian agriculture faces are formidable. It's estimated that 90,000 crore rupees is lost every year due to pest attacks. Yet we've seen one company that's trying to bring those losses down to Shunya. We've also seen an innovation on information management by farmers that's been adopted by 25,000 farmers covering 40,000 acres. Well, that's it on this edition of DuPont Presents The Power of Shunya quest for zero, a show that celebrates science and innovation, technologies that could secure our future, human ingenuity that could reduce our challenges to zero. Till next week then, goodbye.